Among the most intriguing scientific advancements in recent years is the innovation of lab-grown diamonds. They have revolutionized the gem industry, offering a more ethical, cost-effective, and sustainable alternative to traditional mining practices. Diamond creation in nature occurs over billions of years under immense pressure and heat, forming deep within the Earth's mantle. It took humanity millennia to even begin contemplating the concept of simulating this arduous process in a controlled laboratory setting. Lab-grown diamonds, also referred to as engineered or cultured diamonds, don't originate from a mine, but are created in a laboratory using cutting-edge technology that emulates the natural diamond growing process. The history of lab-grown diamonds dates back to the 1950s, when General Electric first magnetized the industry by successfully synthesizing a diamond. However, these early versions of lab-grown diamonds were primarily utilized in abrasive applications due to their quality. Over several decades, technological advancements and improved production techniques have made it possible to create lab-grown diamonds of gem quality, indistinguishable from mined diamonds, even by jewelers' best naked eyes. High pressure. High temperature, HPHT, and chemical vapor deposition, CVD, are the two primary methods used in labs for diamond creation. HPHT replicates the natural geological conditions of diamond formation, while CVD grows diamond crystals from a gas mixture. The result are gemstones that are optically, chemically, and physically identical to their natural counterparts. The significance of lab-grown diamonds lies in their considerable advantages. Firstly, in terms of sustainability, the production of lab-grown diamonds significantly reduces the environmental impact typically associated with traditional mining. Devoid of extensive land degradation, the process causes much less disruption to biodiversity and ecological damage, and results in fewer carbon emissions. The ethical considerations are equally compelling. Across the globe, diamond mining has fueled conflict, leading to what we now call blood diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds, however, can ensure a 100% conflict-free diamond supply, as every part of their production process can be regulated and monitored. Furthermore, lab-grown diamonds offer a more affordable alternative to traditionally mined diamonds. For consumers, this means the prospect of owning a diamond of equal size and quality at a fraction of the traditional cost. However, despite these notable advantages, there are some negative implications associated with lab-grown diamonds. The primary concern being the potential devaluation of naturally mined diamonds. As lab-grown diamonds can be produced on a large scale and are indistinguishable from mined diamonds, it could hypothetically lead to a market oversaturation, which may lower the perceived value of naturally mined diamonds. There are also fears that lab-grown diamonds could be sold as natural diamonds, which would affect consumer trust within the industry. Also, while lab-grown diamonds indeed present a more environmentally friendly alternative to traditional mining practices, this oft-touted eco-friendly label isn't entirely accurate. The production of lab-grown diamonds requires a significant amount of energy. While technological advancements over the years have made the process more energy efficient, it's still reliant on the energy grid, which is majorly powered by fossil fuels. In conclusion, lab-grown diamonds symbolize an incredible marriage of scientific curiosity and technological innovation. They offer immense potential for a more humane, environmental and pocket-friendly approach to owning one of nature's most prized possessions. However, as with any scientific innovation, it's essential to be mindful of potential challenges and address them proactively. As consumers become more value conscious and socially aware, lab-grown diamonds may eventually become the new norm. However, it'll be up to regulators, industry experts, and the scientific community at large to ensure its integration into the market is done ethically and responsibly.